What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome to X-Plane 11 and I'm just going to change the camera view to the outside and you can see that we're in a King Air C90 and it's a lovely uh, dual engine twin prop uh, plane and we're at San Francisco International Airport which is a lovely 3D airport which comes with a game, I haven't got any mods at the moment, the only thing I've installed is a new plane, the Airbus A380-800 which is a big ass plane, let's be honest. And um, what I'm going to do now, we're going to take off. Uh, I've changed a few key bindings, but it's not perfect. As I said, I've literally been on here two minutes just to set things up. So if my recording does something weird, it's because the key binding is identical to one in the game. So I'm just going to go inside view. Uh, I don't really like this camera angle, so I'm going to go up a little bit. So here we have our airspeed. 80 is what, well, that's the uh, V1, the point of no return where I can no longer abort takeoff. And that blue line is what I'm going to use for my takeoff speed. I don't know if that's right, but that's what I'm going to use. This here, this is our attitude indicator, indicates how level we are. You can see we're pretty level now, we're on a runway. And this is our altitude, so we're approximately, say, 15 to 20 feet above sea level because this is right on the coastline and here is our engine power so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna release the brakes with B and we've got a quite a heavy plane today so I'm gonna go full throttle and I'm gonna power up slowly you can see our engines revving up now and I'm just gonna try and keep this straight I don't know how twitchy this plane is I've never flown it before we're staying fairly straight at the time being and little bit left, there we go, V1, we've passed, and V2, so rotate, I'm going to pull back, and we're going to go 10, approximately 5 to 10 degrees up, uh, lovely, about there, oh, that's a bit too sharp, and gear up, and we're just going to be flying VFR, which is visual flight rules, and we're just going to go for a nice little trip around San Francisco. Oh, master one, I'm not quite sure what that's about. Right, if I let go of the controls, it goes down, actually. Okay. So, I'm going to put my flaps up now. There you go. And we're at about 500 feet. So, I'm going to change camera back to outside mode. And you can see our plane, and if I turn the camera on, that is San Francisco. We left a little bit to the right. This plane does like to turn. Apparently. November zero one X-ray pop up runway two eight left. Taxi via Mike Hotel Alpha Bravo Hotel zero one Romeo Golf Lima Foxtrot. Hold short of runway one left. Runway two eight left. Taxi via Mike Hotel Alpha Bravo Hotel zero one Romeo Golf Lima Foxtrot. Hold short of one left. November zero one X-ray pop up. So that was a air traffic control transmission, it was quite loud, I'm just going to level off, this plane does like to turn to the right, I've noticed that in the few minutes I've been here, and we're just going to have a little look around. So to fly this, I've got a Logitech um, joystick, not the best in the world, it's just a cheap one I picked up off Amazon, and when it arrived it said on the box, compatible with Windows 98 and XP, so yeah, that's not the best. And as I say, we're just going to have a nice little fly by VFR, and then we're going to land back at San Francisco International. So, it is a little bit twitchy, the controls, but I think I'm doing fairly good. We're at about 500 feet, I would estimate. Not sure how accurate this scenery is. It's probably not the best, because, I don't know, we're San Francisco town. Yeah, that's, there should be a big, massive, sprawling city there. We're turning a little bit sharp, so... I'm just going to level out here, and let's go back inside, uh, 2,000 feet, I'm going to hold 2,000 feet, so we want to start leveling out now, Ooh, we want a bit far then, there we go, and level out, perfect, and I'm just going to pull the throttles back a little bit, so um, some more exciting news, uh, the joystick is not the only thing I've bought for my computer. I think you guys are going to love this, but 
I worked very hard recently, I got a nice little paycheck, so I decided to spend £650 on a GTX 1080 Ti, which if you don't know what that is, that is like the beast of graphics cards. Like honestly, I've wanted one of these since they've come out and now I've finally got one. And I haven't got it installed yet, it hasn't arrived yet, it should be arriving this week sometime. But I'm so excited. Let's do a flyover of, in, of uh, San Fran Airport. In fact, let me test my rudder controls. The thing is, there's nothing on this joystick for the rudder, so I've set it up to my little thumb sort of joystick thing. And it doesn't appear to be working. Uh, we've got a little bit sharp there. Yeah. Okay, my rudder doesn't work. That's not particularly good. That's fine though. Yeah, a nice little flyover of San Fran Airport, and then we'll come in for a nice landing. I think we'll use one of these cross runways that we're lined up with for the uh, landing. It's a very unique design to San Francisco Airport. It's got t uh, four runways, two in one direction and two 90 degrees crossing them, so there's like a little cross of runways in the middle. That must be a nightmare for air traffic controllers, but you can see down below us there is San Fran Airport. And uh, I must say it's modelled quite well. I'm just going to level out. Uh, try putting a little bit of rudder trim in to keep us straight. Uh, we are descending to the right, that's not good. I'm just trying to be nice and smooth with the controls. So we are descending, I want to pull up a little bit and turn to the right. But yeah, I cannot wait for my graphics card. I've wanted one of these for ages and ages and ages. I'm so excited to get it. Right, we are descending now. It's very twitchy, the controls in here. It's hard to keep it level. You can see the dial underneath our altitude. That's our descent rate, so we're descending now. And when that hits zero, which is there, we're flying level. And if I just pull back a little bit, you'll see it goes positive. That means we're climbing. So, we've had a nice little fly around. I just wanted to have a look at this uh, plane with this uh, joystick, this game, uh, with you guys. And i got to be honest, it's quite a cool game. I, I am looking forward to possibly streaming it at some point. I'm just going to throttle back a little bit. And flaps down. Ooh. I don't know how the camera moved then. And we are going slightly out of control. We're going extremely out of control. Why are you descending like that? What are you doing with the plane? Right. VFR into San Francisco. What? The controls have suddenly become really twitchy. That's not good. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, streaming on this game, to doing more videos on it. I want to learn to fly properly, because now I just know the basic stuff. I want to learn how to set up the autopilot, how to make actual flights, fly smooth, set up my key bindings a little bit better. And something's really off with this aircraft. Right, let's descend. I'm going to have a steep descent, gear down. Flaps all the way. Oh. Why does my camera keep moving there? This is November switching. zero one X ray. Pop up. Contact tower on one two zero point five. Contact tower on one two zero point five. November zero one X ray. Pop up. That was the control tower being extremely loud. This is not going to be a smooth flight. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I'm going to put a little bit more throttle on it. In fact, we are dropping extremely quickly. Add a lot of power, full throttle. There. And I want to go outside view. Oh my god. Just want to check if my gear was down. I am not a very good pilot on here. Right, let's come in for this runway here, which is the left-hand runway. And we want to throttle back about now. 
no, we're way too low. We are way too low. According to Pappy, which is the four red lights on the left hand side. God, this is so twitchy. What is that plane doing? Please don't go on the runway. Right, now let's throttle back. And let's see if we can actually have a smooth runway. No, abort. There is a plane on the runway. No. Oh my god, I think I'm going to crash. <laughs> Full throttle, flaps up. Why does the camera keep moving? It's tripping me. Yeah, there's the terminal. Should we land on the roof? No. <laughs> Fly past the tower. Right, let's actually try and get a smooth approach now. Gear up. God, that was bad. That was atrocious, that really was. Right, okay, let's come in for attempt number two. But yeah, um, one thing I did want to say, Wildlands, which is now officially my favourite game. Like, I've pre-recorded a lot of episodes, so... The next couple of episodes, I think it's the next ten, will be on medium graphics, which is what I'm using now. That's the most I'm going to actually handle with my graphics card. When I get my 1080 though, my TI, I'm hoping to completely max that. Right, let us come in now for our proper approach. So I want to turn over this lake here. I'm being a lot smoother on the controls now. I'm trying to concentrate less on talking and on my instruments and just flying the plane. Very steep turn, but it doesn't matter because it's a flight sim probably approaching the maximum turn rate though. We might get an alarm if we turn any sharper. Right. Flaps are down. Throttle is back. I don't know what that alarm is. Right, let's dive a little bit. I want to land on the left hand side runway here. What is that alarm? That's really annoying. Right, we're too high now. We've gone from being too low to too high. So let's just have a nice steady descent down to the runway, across the highway there. And be a little bit more gentle on the controls. Coming in for a very, very high approach. We're a little bit left of the runway, we're going quite slowly as well. So I'm just going to give it a notch of throttle and... Come in. Yeah, this is much smoother. I wish I had my rudder to straighten up a little bit. Freak turn in a plane, what the hell? Continue. <laughs> Hang on. I forgot to put the landing gear down. <laughs> oh my god. Let's I wanna replay that. Alt R I believe it is. That's fucking class that is. We're gonna have a replay of that, so where was the first landing? The first landing was about here. So we're coming in very badly. Look at that, you can still see the smoke where my plane crashed. That's class. Yeah, we got. I made a mockery of this first landing. The second one was even worse, though. It was a lot smoother, but it would have helped if I put my gear out. So here we are, coming round. There's a plane in the distance, which I, I thought was going on the runway. I don't think it did, though. I think it taxied across. But either way, I wasn't going to take that risk. You can see how flaps are dang, which are those things hanging off the back of the wings. Coming in, nowhere near straight. And... Throttle back. <laughs> Starts diving. Full throttle, touch the runway, jump up into the air. Yeah, he did cross the runway. It's a good job I didn't land. Look at that. What a maniac. 
what is that, United Airlines plane? Yeah, United Airlines that is. And let's see if we can get a nice shot with him in the background. Diving towards the runway. Oh my god, that is just, that's freaking awesome. Oh wow, my mouse is actually off the second screen now. That'd be a nice screenshot there. Yeah, I think that's my thumbnail. <laughs> so now I start to get a grip. So like, oh my god, look at that junction down there. I wonder if that's a real junction. It probably is. Oh wow. And let's just turn the camera. So we can speed this up now, the turn over the lake. Have a look out the window. <laughs> Frickin' hell. This is bad. Ooh, nice little lag stutter there. There's the wing, the engine. Wow, we were really, really bad at this. I think it's time to admit that that was a terrible, terrible flight. Oh my god. Right, we can speed this up. We're starting to slow down to runway. Dive in and normal speed as we cross this highway here with the frozen traffic. Yeah, no gear. You can see under the plane there is no gear there. And here we come. Me thinking I have my gear out. And expecting it to touch down any second. Wing drip, uh, dips. <laughs> yeah, that is not good. Tire blown, you blew one or more tires. Yeah, you don't say. Well, actually, I didn't because the tires didn't come out. But anyway, guys, <laughs> let's try and be a little more professional with the next flight. I do want to learn the navigation, the autopilot, and all that. And I want to do an actual flight. I want to. That Airbus A380 mod I mentioned earlier, I want to get that and do a flight from like LA to San Diego or San Fran to LA, something like that. Maybe even LA to Vegas, that might be a fun one. But wow, I can't... <laughs> just the broken carcass of a plane on the runway. That's great. Let me close this, I want to watch that again. Oh, go a bit further back. Yeah, I get the message, go away. <laughs> So here it comes, slow it down, all the planes in the background, crossing the highway, flaps are down. It wasn't the worst landing considering I didn't have a rudder. And here we come, crossing the threshold now. It is runway one left, and wing dips and crash. <laughs> That's so good. Oh wow. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry my voice was a little bit quiet. It's because there's people in bed next door and in my house and stuff. Just everything's bad. Everyone's in bed. It's two o'clock in the morning, for God's sake. But thank you guys so much for watching. That was absolutely great, that crash. And uh, if you want to see me stream this game... Let me know by giving me a like in the comments. I'll probably do it on Twitch. My channel's called GT Gamer Official. There's a link in the description. And if you want to see this again, just let me know in the comments or by giving me a like. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.